नमस्ते एवरीवन दिस इज मंगलेश्वर ठोजू दिस इज माय यूट्यूब चैनल यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इनोवेशन सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर टुडे माय वीडियो इज हेलो नमस्ते एवरीवन दिस इज मंगलेश्वर ठोजू सोशल स्टडीज टीचर एंड राइटर फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट लेट मी टेल यू दैट Do you want to secure GPA four in SEE? Of course, why not? You also deserve GPA four. If so, watch this video completely. At this moment, I have brought yet another. video for see appearing students and other students far importantly i am showing answer copy of a brilliant student she is not only topper securing gpa 4 but also Bhaktapur district champion of science quiz and math quiz 2076 I am sure if you are SEE appearing and other students and teachers you will subscribe my youtube channel like share and comment as well without dilly dallying let's talk about social studies exam copy of second terminal examination 2076 well she has written from group a respectively it is a attribute or quality of a good student she has written respectively as you know that uh, group a means very short question answer question number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes and question number a the aspects of development are economic aspect social cultural aspect in a similar fashion question number 2 all the economic socio cultural physical and psychological aspects should be given priority while formulating development plan at local level and number 3 slogan that reflects universal brotherhood yes c has committed a mistake in mt spelling is wrong and question number 4 5 6 question number 6 answer is not complete in my opinion so i am not satisfied that's why i gave only 0.5 marks taxes that can be imposed by local level are administration fee motor charge and house registration fee it is not clear actually we should write the taxes uh which are imposed by local local level i must say uh actually well tax house rent tax service charge tourism fee advertisement tax business tax land tax penalty entertainment tax land revenue and many more question number 7 means disarmament means destroying all the arms and weapons of the world yes that's correct answer it is not shortest and it is not longest so it is enough that's why i gave one mark and question number 8 Uh, there are seven provinces in Nepal. Among them, there are some similarities as well as differences. So, similarities of all provinces are given here, and differences as well between or among all the provinces. So, in terms of question number eight, question number eight means, as you know that, uh. short questions each question carries four marks so she has written 
in this way measure similarity is three points and difference is two points so out of four three and five marks she deserves like number nine uh, okay like number eight uh, question number ten she has also written background actually questions of question uh actual question of question number 10 is you know several rights and benefits provisioned by the constitutions so before touching real answer she has written three lines as a background that's correct answer senior citizens are the citizens of nepal who are above age of 65 years according to senior citizen act 2063 then only she writes pension number one number two granting social security allowance at least two seats for the senior citizen in a bus or a public vehicle uh, there has been provision of proper care and treatment to elderly people yes indeed i fully agree with her answer that's why i gave three and five marks moving on question number 11 dowry custom why is it bad actually question is why is dowry custom is bad and she writes in this way causes as well as solution so for four marks she has covered 1.4 1.5 or one and a half page i mean she has covered that's why without shadow of doubt i gave 3.5 marks it sounds good next to question number 10 we have question number 9 but to be honest with you i am not satisfied with her answer uh, address is not found over here wait wait not only this she has written her name yes nisa definitely she is none other than nisa but full name is not given that's why yes no full name and no address no address that's why i gave only three marks yes question number 12 is all about universal declaration of human rights and uh, as per questions uh, we need to write four articles of universal declaration of human rights but she writes uh, five articles so i'm not satisfied with her answer i give only three points a uh, three marks and regarding question number 13 Canada, USA. What can we learn from Canada and USA to commercialize agriculture in Nepal? In this way, she writes. So I gave 3.5 marks. Yes, question number 14. Uh, measures to be taken in earthquake and storm. She writes in this way. In very very beautiful manner separately she has written separately for earthquake and storm so I gave three point five marks don't worry don't get surprised it is because you might have watched another video of a student who secured GPA 4 in SEE 2076, this is also a student who secured GPA 4. Regarding question number 15, actually she has committed mistake or a small uh, mistake or bad aspect of good student. It is because question number 15 is all about report writing while writing report essay uh, report article news article timeline map work like this dialogue like this 
differences like this then we need to you need to start on very next page definitely she has utilized each and every line it is her beauty yes effects of people's movement in socio-economic sector once again i am remembering you that i am reminding you that we need to start from next page for report writing yes like before she writes in this way and she has also cut some words in this way and question number 16 question number 16 is all about consumers act uh, what things need to be mentioned in any product in this way she writes so full coverage of this page question number 16 at the middle part and also she has enclosed that's why this answer is said to be simply the best and 3.5 question number 17 is localization at first she writes heading then after importance of localization in such figure style and citizenship in terms of citizenship problems that arise in nepal while giving nepali citizenship to foreigners definitely it is not a good attempt to give citizenship for foreigners in this way we have entered long questions as you know that we have four questions in long question answer each question carries seven marks and in terms of question number 18 regarding citizenship it is crystal clear that's why i gave six marks here we can differentiate we can watch the differences between citizenship by descent and naturalized citizenship i am repeatedly saying she covers she utilizes all page all lines every space of exam copy that's why c starts question number 20 in this way world war second so is not exception that's why c deserve six marks in this question frankly speaking if you write dialogue in a dialogue as a subtitle or heading it would be better yes in terms of dialogue writing employment to the young people must be managed in homeland and also as a background she writes manu and benu are two friends and right now are discussing about foreign employment on the road but once again my advice for such type of questions answer is better to choose two character named after nepali's name like chameli uzeli champa ram sam krishna rather than manu and uh, banu seems to be odd yes okay she writes in this way full coverage of two pages this is long question answer question number 21 not only two pages three pages i must say so six marks yes in terms of question number 19 c secures only five marks because a bit mistake here in south america's map and this mountain range and amazon river basin selvas especially it is uh, of amazon river yes parkland island seems to be very big yes in the light of above statement i'm sure i was sure regarding her success 
in SC examination, she secured GPA 4. And her presentation, grammar, most crucial of all. Her ink, look at her handwriting, clarity in question answer. I am sure you liked my video, so subscribe my YouTube channel, like and share my video. Thanks for watching.